Hello everyone, it's Stephen Clark and friends, back with another news from Thailand and Southeast Asia. Hope you're all doing well despite the current situation, which I now think is infecting every country in the world, in one way or another. Let's have a look around at Thailand and Southeast Asia and see what's news. The Nightwish group in Padia are giving away free food to the locals. Fantastic, isn't it? And the Took Sports Bar in Padia doing the same thing. A fishing boat owner gives away four ton of fish to a village. Students in Thailand will continue the democratic fight after the coronavirus is cleaned up. Johnny will take you a walk around Southeast Asia and see what's the latest. And Lau reports no new cases of the Chinese coronavirus. Isn't that wonderful? Especially when their next door neighbor is China, where it came from. Anyway, let's have a look at the news. Thailand, Pattaya, with the coronavirus being a large problem with shutdowns of businesses, the loss of jobs and incomes has made the situation very hard for some of the people. The Nightwish Group from Pattaya, yes it's had a bad rap around the internet by some misinformed people. The group manages and operates many businesses in Pattaya. Brian Flowers, the owner of the Nightwish Group, started giving back to those in need with the first idea to give away 500 meals to the needy. Due to donations to the Nature Bar on Soy 6, the Nightwish Group has extended this act of charity now until the 28th and also giving away over a thousand meals a day. Brian has thanked the many managers and staff for their help and also for the donations. He is also giving away cans of food and dry goods with him saying that Anyone that turns up gets fed. What a wonderful thing, giving back to the community that supported the operation. Hats off to Brian for his great humanitarian act. Took's Sports Bar donates food and water to low income earners. Fantastic news. Tukta Kongpet and Danny Fisher, directors of Tuk's Sports Bar in Soyamato, set up a table in front of their premises where they distributed 100 packs of canned fish, instant noodles and water to low-income workers including those who lost their jobs because of the Chinese corona pandemic. The couple said that to help others gives them happiness and satisfaction and it's great to see the managers of Tuk's Sports Bar in Padia giving out something for free and helping some of the needy of Thailand. Thailand, Trang Province, a 48-year-old boat owner, gave about four ton of fish to the local people. Many are finding it hard to make ends meet. He said he was happy to help as the current situation had affected them all. Yet another wonderful act of humanity, helping out the less fortunate. It's not only the top end of the town that help out the local people, because a lot of their businesses depend on the local people. So once again, a wonderful act. China has opened two more border points for the transportation of Thai fruits during the Chinese coronavirus crisis. Department of Agricultural Director General. The move came after the existing Yu Yi Gan checkpoint in Vietnam's border was overwhelmed with 15 kilometer long queues of Thai and Vietnamese goods vehicles. The department, together with National Bureau of Agricultural Commodity and Food Standards, had earlier raised the border traffic problem with the General Administration of Customs of China. Now, China responded by opening their Dong Zing and Ping Zhang border gates in Changzi for imports of Thai fruit from the Vietnam side. The former has capacity to serve over 2,000 trucks a day while the latter allows the fruit to be transported by train. That's great news, fresh fruit for China all the way from Thailand. Thailand, Bangkok, the students have again stated that once the virus situation is over, the rallies will again start. But this time, having learnt that regional areas are a place to put across their point, as well as the capital. As there's been no local government elections since 2014, at the time of the military coup, with their slogan, 
bring back democracy. Well, let's wish them the best. And it's good to see younger people taking an interest in how their country's formed. Johnny out. Johnny, so I am reporting. Let's take a walk around Asia and see what's happening. The 22nd of the 4th, 1945, just a day or two ago, was the anniversary. The then Rangoon, Burma, retreating Chinese forces destroyed the state-run radio system. The then one and only form of mass media entertainment in the country. Indonesia bans traditional Ramadan. Exodus to rein in the CCP virus. The normal exodus into the countryside to mark the end of the Muslim month of fasting has now been cancelled. Malaysia calls for a peaceful end to a month-long South China Sea standoff. It looks like the virus is a bit of a smokescreen for the Chinese Communist Party and their invasions of other territories, where, meanwhile, the Philippines Navy reported a Chinese battleship targeted one of its ships on patrol in its sovereign waters. Looks like the Chinese Communist Party is full steam ahead on threats to other countries. This is not looking good, and I don't like where it's heading. Johnny out. Lao has reported no new cases of CCP virus in seven days. We've confirmed 19 cases at the moment, which is wonderful. Lao went into a full lockdown on the 30th of March with restrictions not to leave home, but for essential shopping, hospital visits and authorised tasks. But now, after some time, people have become bored. So the residents have taken into their own hands and in numbers taken to the street saying enough's enough and wish to go about their daily lives. Johnny out.